All right, most people find out they have heart disease or cancer with a symptom like chest pain or losing weight. But that is way too late often to take advantage of preventive medicine. For years, Dr. James Ehrlich has introduced new technologies and tests for the very early detection of disease. Sadly, managed care rarely pays for these tests. Now, a new foundation in Colorado is helping to provide access to these advances in detection regardless of your ability to pay. It's called the Ida Medical Foundation, Identify Disease Advance. Many of our viewers will remember Dr. James Ehrlich previously on the show from Colorado Heart and Body Imaging, and we're so pleased to have Dr. Ehrlich back to discuss this very dynamic organization that he has founded in his new practice. How are you? Welcome back, Good buddy. Good to be back. Thank Good you. See you. Absolutely love having you on the show. You're thank a wonderful you. doctor. You've helped my family several times, oh, so you. it's a pleasure seeing you again. Um, tell us more about the Ida Foundation that you established. Well, the Ida Medical Foundation, Identified Disease in Advance, was established because most people do find out that they have either heart disease, like sudden death is the way some families yeah. find out, yeah. or a heart attack, or cancer way too late. And our whole system is oriented towards waiting for a symptom like chest pain and then acting. And that's when managed care can, kicks in and starts paying for things. Mm -hmm. But for years, our centers in the various cities that I've operated have been able to find disease years or decades before these things when preventive medicine really works. And so we found hundreds of people. And on the screen, you see an example of an IDA. An IDA is somebody uh, whose first symptom of heart, of, in this case, lung cancer, mm. was late. This is a friend of mine, Anna Avila, a Denver resident who resides in New York and who's coming back uh, to Denver uh, to get her treatments mm -hmm. uh, for, for lung cancer. But she's a wonderful person and, um, and finds out much too late that she has a problem. Mm. And, and so, so um, you know, that's what the foundation is mm. about. And here you're seeing a video that was created uh, on YouTube, actually, that shows all the different technologies and what we can do um, to prevent disease. Mm -hmm. But the problem is we want to find it in people and we don't want it just to be the people who can afford the test right. and don't worry that whether insurance covers it or not. So we're trying to extend the benefit of all these wonderful tests that can save your life regardless of your ability to pay. Cool. That is outstanding, outstanding work. Mm -hmm. What type of test are we talking here? Well, the, the foundation itself does not provide the test. Mm -hmm. What it does is it helps people afford the test. Okay. So the foundation in multiple cities will uh, develop programs. Now, most of the programs will be named after an individual whose loved one or family wants to honor that person. So everybody oh. coming in for a cholesterol test will get a bio of that person okay. uh, that was developed by that family. It translates and converts the loss of a person to hundreds of opportunities Wonderful. to mm -hmm. early detection for other people. Cool. And some of the people we're going to have uh, uh, programs for are very well known, mm -hmm. people from the media, people, actors, and, mm -hmm. and uh, news people, and athletes. But most of the programs are going to be really championed by families mm -hmm. who have a loved one, like Anna, mm -hmm. and um, who want to take care of them. So I believe everybody has an Ida in their family. For me, it was my mother, Ida, mm -hmm. and it was during her preparation for her eulogy that I thought of this foundation. Oh, wow. uh, okay. and, and because she developed lung cancer, and it was a late symptom, it was mm -hmm. uh, pneumonia, mm -hmm. and then, you know, she lasted about a year. Yeah, we can yeah. find it in stage one. We've done it for hundreds of patients finding it very early. Yeah. You truly care about people. I mean, this is the true definition of pain at forward. How can uh, our viewers get involved the different ways they can get involved? Well, there are a lot of ways to get involved. Obviously, if anybody ha out there wants to honor a family member mm -hmm. and has the wherewithal, the effort and energy, and say, you know, we want to honor our grandmother or our mother, we can develop a program for that person. And so that would be one way. That's mm -hmm. sort of the ultimate level. And I think we're going to have people emerge around the country who want to champion something, and instead of buying you know, uh, their name on the side of a music tent, they might have a foundation named after them mm -hmm. uh, under the Ida Medical Foundation. Wow. Another way to get involved is just to have events or to, obviously, uh, we're a nonprofit, mm -hmm. and so donations are very helpful. So if people go to the idamedical.org website, they can make a donation, and they also can tell their own Ida story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that your either, your mother, is very proud of all the work that, you know, looking down on 